Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an alert view with actions. So, not only am I going to be teaching you how to make an alert view, but also how to, when you press one of its buttons, it's going to make an action. It's going to execute an action. So let's get started. Let's go into Xcode, create a new project. Let's go into single view, we'll be fine. Let's call it alert action. Alert actions. Uh, device family can be iPhone. Just have unit tests if you want <coughs> checked off. And since some people might not have the latest version of Xcode, I'm going to have these two unchecked. So just leave it at that. So we can click next and click create. Now we're going to jump into our dot H. It's really simple in here. After the UI view controller, we're going to do an open curly bracket and close it. And outside of those brackets, we're going to do an IB action. So we're going to do IB action, open alert, will be just fine, ID sender. So we're going to copy that, paste it into our, and paste it into our dot M. Now we're going to tell it what to do. So it's actually really simple. Now we're just going to do uh, tell what contents is going to be in the alert view and to show the alert view. So it's really easy. We're going to do alert UI alert view. I'm going to call it alert view space equals space open bracket. We have to allocate allocate it UI alert view a lock. And then we're going to create the title, which is going to be in it with title. And the very top title will be at and in the quote in the quotations you could write whatever you please so we let's just do attention and then message will be uh, same thing inside the <coughs> um, quotations you can do whatever you like choose an option delegate self cancel button title um, let's just do cancel other button titles uh, let's do three act and these will be the actions we'll do call at and then comma and at and then quotations again call email another one another comma and then we're going to do website Sorry, comma nil, and then close the bracket and do a semicolon. Now we're going to do alert view show to let it make it show, and then we're going to do alert view release. For those of you who have reference counting checked off, you do not have to do alert view release. Okay, so that's all great. But now you might be wondering, how am I going to do the action? Well, it's actually really easy. So let's go down here and do a void. So we're going to do void alert view. And then we're going to do colon UI alert view star. Um, and it's this is in parentheses. And then we're going to do alert view. Clicked button at index. And it, NS integer button index. So that's all we need. Now, to access it, what we're going to do, since it is an integer, the button index, and the click button index is an NS integer, we're going to do if button index equals equals 1. So cancel button title will be zero. Next one will be one. The next one will be two, three, four, and so on. So you can, if you put zero, it would when you pressed cancel, it would do an action. If you did one, it will do call and it will do an action. So let's make an action for this one. We're gonna do UI application, shared application, and then. We're going to do open URL um, bracket NS URL 
URL with string. And then we're going to do NSS string, string with format. And then we're going to do, finally, tell. So this will call. It will not work on the simulator, but it will work on your device, trust me. So we're going to do at tell and then whatever your number. So let's just do a random number. And it will call that number. So close it, close it, close it. I'm pretty positive it will work. I have tried it before. And now let's do the next one. So since email is the, it, everything starts at zero, cancel is zero, call is two, uh, one, and email is two. So we're going to do button index equals two. And since we're going to do email, we can do, it's really easy, mail to, colon, and then whatever apps at gmail.com, whatever email you would like. You could also do more advanced, like in-app email. Remember, whatever code you would like to execute. So, your code here, whatever you'd like. And then let's copy it one more time. And then for website, we're going to do button index equals, oh, I forgot the, yeah, button index equals three. And then we're going to do, let's just do a website. So let's just do http colon forward slash forward slash www.apple.com. Okay, so that's all you need here. Very easy actually, and you, it can go on and on and on. And we can go, go into our viewcontroller.xib, drag in a button, just wherever. Hello. And um, go into File Zoner, go in your connections, drag Open Alert to Hello, and click Touch Up Inside. And now we're going to run it in our iPhone 5 simulator. So we can click Hello, an email, will, uh, an alert will come up. Choose an option, Call. It will not work, an email will not work on the simulator, but trust me, it does. We can click web website, and sure enough, it goes to Apple. And just to show you that the other ones are working, I'm going to do one thing real quick. We're going to do nslog at call. And then we're going to do another NS log at email. So it's going to show up in our log right here just to prove to you that it works. So we're going to go here, click hello, and click call. And as you can see in our log, it says call. So yes, it does work. Click again, email, and yes, it says email. Click again, go to website and it goes to your website and again if you wanted to cancel it would do nothing and just cancel so that's how to make a uh, alert view with actions I hope you use this uh, well and thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video bye